think African means business means exactly that, business. I think there's been a lot of issues about covering Africa, and most of the covering about Africa, whether it is in business, whether it is politics, has been negative. Because economists are really bad at communicating. They've got worse. Um, try reading some technical economics, right? It's gobbledygook. Uh, and so the job of communicating to ordinary people, that's, comes, that's second nature to journalists. So journalists have got to engage with economists so that they get on top of the ideas and then they can express them. There is a lot of talk around economics in Africa, but very little of that talk informs policy and practice because it happens within academic halls, uh, you know, halls of academia, and it does not percolate down to the common person and to the policy maker. And the place, the channel through which it percolates is usually the media, and that is why the media was brought in. I, I wrote an article uh, and uh, sent it to Nation. Uh, I wanted them to publish something about, you know, corruption and economics, behavioral issues. And uh, I got a statement from one of the guys that you need to tone it down. Uh, and I didn't know what toning down meant uh, and so forth. So I, I, was, I was a little bit frustrated uh, that I'm trying to disseminate some of the things I found out or some of the things that would help shape policy. But here I am frustrated, I can't. Now, happy to report that after that, uh, I wrote the same article, but now I knew what uh, media people look for or how they want to communicate to their audience. And uh, glad to report that the article was accepted and actually uh, it was uh, in the media. Africa Means Business is a training course that brings together economists and journalists to learn from qualified uh, uh, trainers as well as from each other. I find this course as an eye-opener because I've learned a lot of things in finance reporting that I didn't know at first. I've been able to be more relaxed and comfortable with data analysis, graph interpretation. From here, I know that I'm not going to just impact on myself, but on my colleagues who are also on the business deck. Financial journalism, economic reporting, is important because you can't leave it to the academic economists. We'll mess it up. Um, and yet ordinary citizens have to get up to speed on these issues. Think, Africa's discovering natural resources at a rate of knots. Forty years ago, Sierra Leone and Botswana had diamonds. Sierra Leone went to the bottom of the world's human development index. Botswana became the fastest growing economy in the world and is now the richest economy in Africa. That is what is at stake now. Is the next decade going to drive all Africa to repeat Sierra Leone, or can all Africa become Botswana? It depends upon what citizens understand, and that depends upon what journalists themselves understand and communicate. We believe that if we can get great economic ideas and take them to the streets, then that is going to change Africa and make Africa a better place. Music